Hi, I've started a Fiverr page, so if you've ever wanted to support the channel, or just want some quality voice acting or video editing, then please give my profile a look. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of League and Chill. Today's premise is a bit interesting because... As of recording, Worlds has just ended. And so, with Worlds being over, I decided to look at the stats of who is the highest win rate champion. And to my surprise, it's actually Yumi with a 100% win rate over 8 games. So, there are other champions who have a 100% win rate. Uh, put him up on screen right now, please, Burn. Thank you, you're so cool. Um, but the champion with the most games is Yumi, so Yumi is what we're playing. Now, I've got a few gripes with Yumi, not the biggest Yumi fan, um, but maybe playing Yumi with the pro build, uh, there's only three items because that's all the pros have managed to build before the game's over, so we'll see. I think if we do manage to reach these three items in this game, I will just go full AP afterwards, because I noticed this is an AP item. Let's see. Now, full transparency on this video, I did just play a game before this one of the exact same premise, so this is me recording the intro a second time. The first game, it was alright at the start, it's a game of League of Legends. I missed that. It's a game of League of Legends, a typical one. And unfortunately, it was a typical one. So there were plenty of racial slurs, uh, plenty of people getting really salty over Cassante, most specifically. Um, some people, AKA the person on my team playing Cassante, was not too happy with the sexual preference of Cassante. Let's just leave it at that. So, it wasn't a very pleasant game, a lot of feeding, so we've, you know, we're just gonna play again. And I heal. Okay, so, I've only played Yumi about three-ish times, maybe, as a joke, all the time, because, oh, Five, it's gaming. Oh, that was so close. Wait, come back. Come, come here. Come here. Oh, no. I probably should have gotten off earlier. But, you know, we, we live and we learn. We laugh and we love. You know, I had nothing to do with that, but that was all me. And I don't know why we're pinging, but... Let's, this is League and Chill, so I will remain as chill as I can with the circumstances I am in. So, to remain chill, let me rant about Yumi. Now, I don't believe... Yumi should have a 100% win rate at Worlds. In fact, I don't... Press W? What? I, I don't... <laughs> okay, anyways. I don't think Yumi should have... Okay, she has a 95... Well, had a 95% presence at World. Which means in 95% of the games, she was either picked or she was banned. Which I don't think is healthy for the game. And you should leave your comment of your opinion. Because obviously the Yumi players will have a completely different opinion. Oh, that was unfortunate. They obviously would be thinking that... That's a nice dodge. Would be thinking that Yumi should have... 
Okay, that was good. Yumi should be in pro play, which I don't I don't disagree with. She should be in pro play. I personally think that every champion should be in pro play because it just makes it more interesting and you know, it's there's nothing greater than seeing the best of the best play your champion, but when your champion is the one being extremely oh that was good extremely dominating it's not it's not the best thing in my opinion like me as as but a humble oh that was fantastic but a humble ex garen main i know i i still live for the day when i will see garen in pro play uh he's he's my boy i root for him every time but it's I, I can, I can, I sort of got a glimpse of that, because I can't remember which game it was, but I remember Teemo got picked. I wasn't watching at the time. I think it was a day I had an assignment due the next day, so I couldn't stay up all night and watch Worlds. Okay, thank you, Taxi. So, oh, you're welcome, Zaya. So... I only find out in the morning when all those, like, League news channels were like, Oh my god, Teemo's been picked in pro play. And I wish I was there, would have been cool. It's a shame Teemo lost, but that's kind of what happens when the, the, the people's champion, the crowd favorite, gets picked. It's usually a loss. So. But yes, back to my main point. I... And I think I articulated it quite well in the previous video. I'm not sure if it's coming through as well. Well, not in the, in the previous recording, sorry. I think I articulated it quite well. I'm not sure how it's coming across in this one, because this is obviously me having to try repeat what I was saying. But I, I agree with the, the principle... I should be queuing more. I agree with the principle of Yumi that there should be... Yeah, I think we just kill him. Let's go. I agree with the principle of Yumi. There should definitely be the easy champion. Like, extremely easy champion. In every lane, there should at least be one or two. But, I feel like with those extremely easy champions, they shouldn't be pro play dominators. Yeah, because obviously I, I, I'm saying viability, I believe. Oh, and she's gonna ult. Come on. Should she not level it? Ah, that's unfortunate. Did she not level ult? I don't know. You guys will know. But that, that could have been really clutch. But still, I'm proud of her. We, we handled that well, I reckon. Let's hope she's not flaming the mid laner for not pinging. Okay, she's not. It's fine then. But yes, I I think Yumi is very problematic. I don't know what Riot can do about her. It's just the nature of a champion. When there's a champion that is untargetable for let's just call it a fair number of 70% of the game. She's probably untargetable for longer than that. You can correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am about it. But there's, you know, there's no counterplay to untargetability. Sure, you can argue that just kill the person she's on and then you target her. But she can just jump to another person. Person, so you gotta you gotta kill four people. You gotta kill four people to get to her. Theoretically, in a five v five team fight. And. You know, you another person could also argue that you should just be Oh, that's unfortunate. You could also just be arguing that, you know, focus her in the fight. But I'm of the opinion of why should you be focusing the support in a fight? Like, why should Nautilus be saving his key CC for the support? For the Enchanter support, obviously it's different with a Senna, because Senna's at least a carry. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining. Who knows? I don't feel like I'm complaining. Because 
yeah, it's whatever. One thing I will complain about is when there is a Yumi on my team. That's a hill I'll die on. I absolutely hate Yumis on my team. When I'm playing ADC. I hate that I have to suffer through the laning phase with them because of the negative pressure that they get, well, that they give me because they aren't like a body that can walk up with me to the wave. Because all the punishment that the enemy bot lane gives is on me. Oh, that's cracked. Okay, and she's gonna jump in, please. No, she didn't. But yeah, so I I absolutely hate having a Yumi as my support. Because I'll I'll nurture the lane, I'll struggle, I'll try my gosh darn best to just stay even and pray for that nice late game where I'll have a cool Yumi on me and I'll be able to 2v8 because oh come on I wanted it yeah so I of my my power fantasy of just me and my Yumi against the world but after suffering the laning phase I then have to suffer the rest of the game where they never like sit on me ever because there's always someone who's more fed by virtue of the lane. Because bot lane obviously shared XP, which means you're lower leveled. Uh, yeah, so, you know, the top laner, especially from next season, when they're giving top laners more XP. Which, as a top main, me likey, but... It just means the ADC is going to be even lower leveled. So when I do play ADC, the Yumi is never going to sit on me. Eh, maybe I'm being a bit overzealous. I will get a ward though. But yes, I think I'll, I'll stop there with the Yumi rant. And now I'll say something good about Yumi. I like the way she looks in Legends of Runeterra. Uh, I guess that's a good thing to say. I'm not sure. I personally... Yes, I... Well, that happened. But we... we make do with what we can so i'll recall in. i said i'll recall in this bush and then we'll see what happens when i jump cut to me being back in lane okay jump cut over and if you've noticed that this here see look it just upgraded while we were walking back to lane so don't flame me for not having red trinket uh Yes, now that my back is covered, let's get back into this. So I, I made an oopsie. I made an oopsie with with worlds. I accidentally got oh damn! I accidentally got the date wrong of the finals. So I watched every single worlds game because I, I wanted to feel the hype that others feel with with competitive play. I, I wanted to be involved. I wanted to, to see all the cool things. Experience... Ooh, I almost pressed off there. I wanted to experience, you know, the hype of finals. of After watching all the games and knowing what's going on. But then... I thought Worlds was on the Sunday. But it was actually on the Saturday. So I wake up in the morning excited. Yes, Worlds is tonight. I'm going to have so much fun watching it. I gonna go buy all my snacks prepare and everything and then I open up YouTube and there it is right the first recommended video is the opening ceremony and I was like huh I guess they just showed the opening ceremony the day before the game is supposed to happen and then that that was just me trying to think that I hadn't made the mistake and then I go onto the lol esports website and then that is when my heart sank when it said nothing is scheduled, I knew that was the end. Are we cranking it? 
Ah, oh, one second. My, my nose is so itchy, this is terrible. Ah, okay. My nose has been sufficiently scratched. I can concentrate on the game now. Come save me. Let's go. I survived. Okay, taxi, take me home. Okay, you're not taking me home. I will take myself home. Okay, so we're back in lane, and my ADC died while I was walking here. I didn't catch much of the fight. I decided, you know, we, we stir a bit of cheeky drama. So, remember the unresolved question of what press W means that Gwen said to me? So, she's under turret, she's got 50 CS, and is spam pinging for help. So I saw it fit to say press W. Which that's that's me just being a little a little smarty pants. Um, so let's see let's see if they they go full blown mental baby rage, uh, A.K.A. Let's see if they give me content or not. Let's just hope there's no racial slows and stuff like the last game. Uh, maybe I should turn on chat filter just in case. But she did spam ping my oracle lens so. I'm, I'm glad that she's showing that I bought the right one, which is, makes me happy. I'm doing good. And I'm taking the ward. I'm doing good. Oh, I don't like this anymore. Oh, I'm... Did I say I don't like this? I meant to say I like this. I don't like this. Um... So... I don't really know what I should be doing. I'm just gonna sit on the ADC and hope for the best, maybe. I'm gonna sell the potion and get one of these bad boys. Maybe the Akali would be good as well. See, the only problem I have with Yumi this game, being the Yumi this game, is they kind of all just have champions that want to dash into five people. <laughs> I mean, I guess I yes would want to stand backline, but we've both been seeing how she's been playing. So, I want to call his recalling. So, I'm, I'm a bit nervous about sitting on someone and then they just kill me. But... Maybe I'll I'll nurture my ADC. Ah, oh, my nose is so itchy. Vi might be dead. Vi is probably dead. Vi didn't die. Uh, I need her to bring me back to my carry. Okay, did I say Vi was gonna die? No, I didn't. Why would I die? Okay, so... Funny thing is, these are the only items that the pros have built. So, I, I guess the games haven't gone on long enough, which means I kind of have to make up the rest of the build. Now, the last time I played Yumi, was after watching a video about full AP Yumi, so I think I'm just gonna go full AP Yumi. So, I'm thinking... Buff Spellcasters? Nah. I reckon we get Horizon Focus. Oh, I hit him? I wonder how much damage that did. I'll put a ward 
down. And then I'll wait for the Grievous Wounds to go, and then I heal. I'm such an optimal gamer. Some nice Yumi damage. used all the spells. I used all the spells. I did what I could. Oh. I hit. You know, I'm gonna pretend I did the half damage instead of Akali. So I can use that in the thumbnail. I did half a Tristana's health with one Q. Not clickbait. It's not clickbait, guys, I swear. Okay, so I think the hierarchy of people to sit on is Vi, and then Akali, and then Zaya. I'm not gonna- if I'm on the Gwen, please dislike the video. That's my- that's my humble request. Do it, do it, take the minions. I'm gonna take the minion. I woke up today and I chose violence just for this Gwen, just for telling me to press W. And it brings me pain because you have a Leona icon. Brings me pain that I have to be so mean to someone who values my queen. And I don't mean to rhyme, but I do it all the time. He pressed W and my Q didn't even hit him. Doesn't he feel like a buffoon? Oh, spicy damage. Ah. Wait, the can can we can we do the Drake? Oh wait, Vi died. Wait, my order of command. I did, wasn't sitting on Vi. I guess that's on me then. Okay, I one shot. Backline minions. That's good to know. Go, 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 go. Yes, we got it. Except I'm gonna lose all my Dark Seal stacks again. We won, but at what cost? Nice vile, that was good. Okay, I'm gonna show my... my age in terms of League of Legends. I was not around when Vi got released, but I remember watching a Bricky video, if you guys know who Bricky is. He, d he doesn't make League videos anymore, but he used to. I remember in one of his videos, he was talking about how people were so upset when Vi came out because her ultimate was so broken that it would follow you wherever you go. Which I think, as a player who started playing in 2018, I think that's so funny to think of Vi ultimate as the the broken thing to complain about. That's, that's, that just puts life into perspective for you. Kali sure is taking a while to kill that cannon, huh? I bet I could have queued it and uh, stolen it. Uh, I want to be on Vi, but it's always so far away from me. I can't walk in the jungle alone. I'm but a helpless cat. Maybe I should be maxing W second, actually. Doesn't it give, like, a whole bunch of stuff? Uh... Increasing their adaptive force by 55. 12 plus 12%. 12 oh, okay, so it doesn't scale. I swear it used to scale with AP at some point. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, she's cranking it. Go, 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 go. He's so fast. Okay, slow to speed up. Where's he going? Oh. Uh oh, I don't want to be here anymore. See, this is the prop. Oh, come on, fire. Come on. My savior. That was clutch. If you don't like the video right now, Avi won't come and save you from your problem. Let me get off, heal myself, get back on. That's gaming right there. Scared. I get off, heal myself, get back on. <laughs> that is actually quite a nice luck skin. I just think it's really funny. Okay, time for another time for another opinion by yours truly. Okay. I think Lux was just put in that skin line to make money, full stop. I don't think whoever created the skin line had Lux in mind for it. I think she was shoehorned in. And you want to know why I think that? Is because of the cinematic of the video. What? Well, of the video, hello? Am I speaking English now? Because of the cinematic video. Okay. Because I don't like this. I don't like when you're taunting when I'm on you. Because in the video, it's about Pike. I can't say what he's doing because technically the phrase of it is maybe like banned on YouTube or whatever. Um, he Okay, he's, he's killing other versions of himself. There we go. I didn't say KS. Um, and yeah, interesting concept. Cool skin concept that he's going around to alternate versions of himself. But... I think the funny thing is, just at the end of the cinematic, when all of a sudden Lux appears, I think it, it definitely caught me off guard. When I'm watching this cool fight scene cinematic between Jax and Pike, and then at the end of it, there's just like, hey, I'm here, by the way. It it, it made me laugh. So if, if Riot was going for that, well done. You, you made a, a man smile that day. But... I, I definitely feel like Lux was just shoehorned in to to sell more skins. But it's a nice looking skin. They they obviously delivered on it. I just don't I don't see anything special about it in my opinion. Like nothing about it screams interdimensional warfare tactics or whatever. Okay, can my ult end so I can press Q, please? There we go. That's where the real damage is. Okay. Uh-oh. Wait. My order of command. Wait, I was on... I was on Gwen. Guys, guys, guys. I'm so sorry. Please don't... Please don't dislike the video. Please don't dislike the video. <laughs> please don't dislike the video. Okay, how about this? Instead of disliking the video... Why don't you... Tell me in the comments that you would have disliked the video so I can know who the real ones are that are actually watching this video at this point. Because, yeah, that... I think nothing more proves that you're a real one because to have known to comment that, you would have had to be watching two very specific parts of the video. So, if you comment that, I will heart your comment. That was a one- I should have healed just for a free assist. I, I always think that just by sitting on someone I'll get an assist. But yeah, if, if you if you comment that I would have disliked the video, if you comment that word those words exactly, I will pin and heart your comment. And obviously I'll reply to it because I reply to all the comments. bit off. But we will get that. I I don't like it. I don't like it here. <laughs> okay, we are good to recall here. Where's my 
Don't leave me, taxi. Okay, we're back in the we're back in it full force. Okay, I probably didn't need to press all that stuff, but I'm not getting depressed too much by playing Yumi, so I'm I'm just gonna press as many buttons as I can. Come on, Vi, let's go. Speed. Ah, minion getting in the way. Speed. Well, that's an interesting Gwen build. I've never seen that before. That way, action. You know, we try. Also, excuse any white noise you may be hearing. It is currently summertime over here, so it is hot. I have to have the windows open. But if you want some real white noise, I can just play some Eminem for you. Whoa, I just said that. Okay, I will be leaving here because I've got that in the Jais. With that 10 stack Dark Seal. We gaming up in here. And then I said I was going here. Okay, I just realized I became the very thing that I wish to destroy. I said the thing I hate the most about Yumi's is when they just never touch their ADC again. And I realize now that's exactly what I've done. I just jumped onto the most fed person in the game and, and called it a day. So, wow, Vi did a lot of damage to that turret. Okay, um, well, GG well played. That was a game of League and Chill playing Yumi. If you made it all the way here, then thank you so much. To be here means you must be a real fan. So why don't you check out this video too then?